guys, so today I'm doing an on-location video shoot at Bassey Falls, which is up near, near Lake Tahoe, California. It's a waterfall, so I'm gonna go do some long exposure shots and whatever. I'm sorry if my audio is pretty bad right now. My, uh, my microphone broke, so we have to do with this for one more video. Yeah, all right guys, let's go do this. Alright guys, so it's a two mile hike to the waterfall. I'm here with my brother because there is bears out here, so I thought it would be safer for me to come out here with someone else. Yeah, yeah. so he's, he's carrying a lot of photography gear. He's carrying a lunch for us, but don't, I'm carrying a bunch of stuff too. So it's, it's evenly matched. I can hear the river just over there a little bit, about 500 feet you know, to the left of us, or right of us I guess. But it's two yeah. mile hike there and back, so it's not a very long hike and it's very easy to get to but again we are carrying like 20 pounds each so that just adds to two miles should be easy though what do you think i got it we're That's good we're good okay so i'm about half a mile in and i gotta tell you, it's not a hard hike at all it's very simple but the sun is right above us right now and i'm carrying my drone and my camera bag down here if you guys can actually see that if the camera exposes correctly for that, but uh, half a mile is pretty hard, yeah. especially with this gear. Uh, wow, look at how sweaty you are. Yeah, you know, my, messed up all my hair. <laughs> I put a ton of hairspray in my hair, just look cool. I did it. Anyways, guys, so here we are, uh, halfway there, I think. That means we walked a mile so far. Almost. Almost a mile. So we're about to tell you like 15 minutes. We'll be there in another 15, 20 minutes, hopefully. That's a, that's a pretty good mile, I think. Remember me. All right, guys. Let's see you there. So I think we're getting very close. I can taste victory. Look at it. I can feel the wetness. That's very big. So the, the waterfall is back that way. Maybe like another half mile or so. This is cool. If the if the waterfall has this much water there, it's gonna be some epic photos. Let's go. guys so I've now made it to Bassey Falls which is right there and it's pretty cool there's a lot of compositions that are available here for me so I'm just gonna take my camera out see what I can come up with and hopefully hopefully cross your fingers there's something good here if not it was a two it was a two mile one and a half hour walk that was uh, yeah not worth it but I hope it is so I'm gonna go take some photos now let's do this hopefully it's something good Waterfall, how it's kind of, you know, jacked in and out everywhere. I'm going for a black and white 
uh, fine art style, I guess. So I have the camera lined up in a vertical portrait orientation right here. So the water comes like this, and like this, and like this. So you have a lot of different movement in the water. So hopefully, you know, the angles going all different directions will create a nice shot all together. So this time, I'm opening up my aperture to something around f3.5. I could go lower, or I could go bigger, actually. But uh, I want a quarter second exposure just to have a little bit of movement in the water, nothing too much. So it's one third second exposure, f3.5, ISO 100, 10 stop in the filter. Let's take the shot right there. Lovely. It's amazing. Okay, so now my next uh, my next idea for a shot is a panorama that goes vertical. So we're gonna start down here and we'll we'll angle ourselves all the way up up there. So I'm shooting 18 millimeter now. It's really wide for most environments, but it's just it's not a big waterfall. I mean, it's a, it's a big waterfall, but not a lot of a lot of rocks and stuff in the way. So I want to capture the you know the essence of the waterfall, but I want to make it look big so the panorama is gonna do me good here. So. I'm manually focused and I have my camera on manual settings, so half second exposure, f 3.5 ISO 100, that'll be for the ground and all the way up to merge the panorama together. So that should look pretty good. Let's take these series of shots and see what we get. Okay, let's start right now. I'll take this one. Okay, now I'll move the camera one third of the way up. I'll take another shot. I'll move up a little bit more. Take another shot. And then for my final shot, top of the tree. Take another shot. Alright, hope that comes out good. See this on screen. Alright guys, now I'm at 70 millimeter, 10 stop filter, and just like before, I'm now in close view of the mountain, just trying to get, you know, the waterfall this time, except, you know, I don't want the river in the bottom, I want the waterfall, so, yeah, 70 millimeter should do the, should do the job, and, uh, yeah, so, one half second again, F4.5, ISO 100, will now take this shot, voila, very magical. I'm gonna go do some more shots, guys, but, uh, yeah, so, Okay, so we finished, I finished photographing, all in all, pretty much everything that was ideal to shoot there. Uh, the waterfall was cool, the water was very cold, I went swimming in it, you can probably tell by my hair. Yeah. yeah. He's wearing hair gel now, it's all messy. Yeah, <laughs> I lost my hair gel. Um, yeah, I also cracked my phone, that's, yep. a, that's a highlight of the day too. But you know what? I think I got some good shots, minus, minus setbacks. I think I'm good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. So, until next video, stay cool and keep photographing. You anything to say? Uh, Peace yeah. out.